we're developing technology for the good of humanity and, and that is a really motivating thing to be part of. When we first started, it seemed like it took forever for it to f get enough heat and synergy together in order for it to capture the mind share of the marketplace to, to go from one and two megabits per second to where all of a sudden it leaped to the 10 megabits and became just like an ethernet connection. So that the experience to the end user was the same whether it was a wired connection or a wireless connection. So in 1999, 802.11b was uh, completed at 11 megabits per second and that became the inflection point that allowed us to go after and supply the consumer and enterprise market space. And who knew? And at the 25-year anniversary, 2015, that we'd be doing gigabit data rates today. The biggest surprise has been the very large volume of product that is shipping. Uh, we're looking at uh, billions of units per year, which translates into millions of units per week. When I think of IEEE, initially I thought about just uh, my laptop computer or my, my server connecting to that in a wireless medium, but now there's even light bulbs that have uh, Wi-Fi, and they're thinking about putting it in cars, washers and dryers, and who knows, even a pen might have Wi-Fi. When Steve Jobs stood up at an Apple conference and, and announced the Apple Airport and the availability of 802.11, at that time it was 802.11b, right, in the Apple products, and that was a significant market launch and uh, moment of adoption and tremendous growth of the 802.11 technology in the consumer space. 60 to 70 percent of the data today is actually transported over Wi-Fi technologies. So it has played that important a role and it has that impact on the lives of human beings. 802.11 has had a massive impact on the world. And it's interesting, it's obviously things such as an economic impact, and you look at the numbers, people talking about $140 billion of economic value per year. But it's also cultural. It's very interesting and of course it's difficult to predict the future, definitely. Um, but one of the, the next big things is going to be the Internet of Things. So that's going to be the connectivity of, of billions of devices. So not just user-enabled devices. So um, we're going to be talking about machine-to-machine -machine communications, um, smart appliances, home energy management systems. So there's going to be billions and billions of devices which need to talk to each other. So the wireless infrastructure used to connect all of these devices is going to be extremely complicated. That makes up the Internet of Things. And it's my feeling that future evolutions of IEEE 802.11 will be able to support that. 802 in general has been incredibly successful in bringing the industry together. And the reason we can do that is we provide a fair, balanced, open process that everyone who comes here, no matter if you're an individual, a small company, or a large company, have a relatively equal shot at uh, getting their ideas incorporated into the standard. Happy 25th anniversary, IEEE 802.11. Pachi Salgira Mubarak, IEEE 802.11. Joyeux 25e anniversaire et 3e 802.11. IEEE 802.11, IEEE 802.11. Happy 25th anniversary, IEEE 802.11. I'd like to say thank you very much for a pleasant time, IEEE 802.11. It's been a great 25 years, and let's look forward to the next 25 years. Mm -hmm.